Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. And today I thought I'd make a video addressing this thing that I don't know and that this friggin' staff member tried to make the most obvious BS rule up imaginable at with someone I know who's staying at there because they had an emergency happen. But this is the worst one yet like this is like whoever's coming up with that rule must just think oh everyone's a complete numbskull like the funny thing is like even asked uh, jeremy the other day it, what it was and he, the rule is basically they're trying to say oh this person isn't allowed to have visitors out there and Jeremy, and he asked Jeremy the other day, and he says, yeah, but you have to stay certain feet apart, and that's about it. You got a social distance or whatever. That's the only th thing that's been added. So, a message that anyone thinking of coming up with the BS rules, you know people are going to remember what the rules are. You're not going to just forget five seconds later. Just because you forget what they are five seconds later doesn't mean everyone else does. <laughs> yeah. Well, they know it, I'm pretty sure. It's, pro it's one of them that was left, the one staff member that's left over. All the other ones got caught doing something corrupt there and got fired. It's funny, all I did was make a video, video and addressed a couple of the ones I knew were for sure were involved in some sort of corruption and asked for, and said they should start investigating the place for that and then just by that like I didn't know every staff member was like there was some that I didn't even ever I didn't know anything that's why I only addressed those two ones because those were the two ones that were basically just Basically being so obvious about it and the fact that they're They get paid minimum wage and they're driving around in 2020 Mar The newest year Murano from wearing a $500 hoodie $500 shirt $500 pants $500 shoes just everything on their bodies $500 or something and they make minimum wage like everyone else like that you come on you're not even trying not to stand out there <laughs> you also just put a big sign on your body saying yes i am robbing p i am robbing from the place of work <laughs> god you couldn't be more obvious about it i don't know like why they even try that like they think maybe the problem maybe they're thinking i oh yeah he's been gone so long from here that, that he would forget the rules but you would even forget and like especially the other day when he asked jeremy the rules just to be sure on it oh my god i just found it amusing and thought i'd talk about it and I don't even get why they even try that. So one of them, I guess, was left over that didn't make it obvious. And didn't have a bunch of evidence of stealing from there. <laughs> oh god, I wonder how obvious the other ones were being. Jeez. I, I did not know that it was that many. But... That's what I was told. Apparently it was pretty much everyone who worked there. And they all had to be... They had to rehire... They had to hire a bunch of new people. They got rid of pretty much everybody who was working there. I can't believe that. <laughs> everyone, I didn't think it was that bad. But it was. But it... Luckily, they cleaned it up a bit. There's still one. There's still one left over. Jason, that guy, remember you met that first time mm -hmm. there? And he got fired, of course, because he, he was he was the most obvious one of all. Like you saw the you saw the clothes he was wearing. 
He's ignorant. He's like, you saw the clothes he was wearing, $500 everything on him. He treated, the first time I went there with you, he treated me like he was better than me. Yeah. Right away. Yeah. Like, he's... yeah, you can wait here. Yeah, you, 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 know, you can hear, like can hear an ego persona from their voice. Right like, away. they think they're, like, better than everyone. I'm really good at reading people. Yeah, he had that about him. Yeah, I'm better than you. I rob homeless people for a living. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, the lowest you could possibly go. Oh, yeah, you, oh, yeah, you got a good image, but reality, that's what he did, did for a living. The only other thing <laughs> that's lower than that would be stealing from a kid. Mm. Look at the kids. Look at her. She's been doing that a lot. Look. Yeah, She's been doing it's that like lot. they think, um, yeah, like they, things. it's like all these <laughs> stats, well, not all of them, the ones that were there before, friggin' think that everyone who goes there is just an idiot who doesn't know how to run their life. You know, people actually end up in there for emerge actual emergencies. There's homes that get burnt down or something like that. There's lots of emergencies that happen in real life. I don't get that. Like, it's not just idiots who are coming there. <laughs> That's a, and it's like they think that. It's, oh yeah, every person who comes here is just going to be an idiot and won't remember the rules. <laughs> it's got to be the worst ever, man. So, yeah, like, that's just insane. I really don't get it. <laughs> it's not, it's not even like, it's not something that's, that, it's not like something that's super bad though, it's just, like they fixed all that, those problems that happened, were happening before, but, oh my god. It's just insane, man. Electricity there, all that. And it cost her like fourteen hundred just to like, pay off all the bills. Right? In order to Well we'll be back in a pain, second. You know? Right, to make a quick cut. So she yeah. threw those in So yeah, in conclusion guys and gals, I just wanna address the the regular I know there's some people who might not have a good memory and deal with that, but but it's crazy, man. Like, they must just think everyone's idiots. Like, who stays there? Is that their perception? Like, it's not bad that bad with employees like that. Uh, that's the first time. But, yeah, we're gonna do another cut. Someone's here right now. Hey guys and guys, welcome back. Yeah, now, yeah, in conclusion, anyway. Just wanted to make this video to document the stuff happening and stuff. I know it's not every employee that works there. I seen, I see, like the newer people that they got, the younger person. I could tell he's well educated and like because people are paying two hundred and fifty dollars a month to stay in a a place where they share one dorm room with eight people a lot of times it all depends on how many people are staying there how many people are in that room but the max is eight people like what the frig man you should you damn and on top of that they got a curfew for people to be in in that like 6 30 like for all that you should be getting food uh, given to you you should be getting a decent supper every night. You shouldn't be treated fucking... They sh like, and they're making up rules. Some of them. Like, they think people... They think you're an idiot. They think everyone's an idiot who's there. Those those certain staff members. Anyway, not everyone in there. A lot of people... They replaced a lot of them in with uh, actual good staff members. And there was one that's left over, but... Not even gonna bother naming them. Just friggin' look into it.
this one who tried to say uh, they're not allowed visitors and all that. No, the visitors just got to stay outside. They're not allowed inside. But the visitors are allowed to stand outside. Like, come on. And that's stupid. I remember the rules. Especially when... Um, I remember he asked the friggin... He asked Jeremy if the, that was okay there when I came came there in the first place. And asked, just asking him to know the rules, basically. And he said, yeah, you just gotta stay a certain feet apart and all that stuff. But this person tried to say, oh yeah, he's not allowed to have any visitors. Stop trying to make up your own rules. You're just looking like an idiot doing it yourself. You think just because you're an idiot doesn't mean every other person in the world is. <laughs> My God. Or you because you ran into some idiots so you think everyone's like that. Or, like, God, you know, people actually get emergency shelters because they friggin' uh, have a place burned down. They could have they could have had their home burnt down, for all you know. You don't know their damn life. But, of course, they're not going to talk about it because you think they want to talk about something like that? No. So, for all you know, this person's house burnt down and you're treating them like freaking crap. Like they're just some friggin' person who doesn't know how to have their life together. And you don't even know them. They could have ended up there because their house burnt down. And it's not exactly uh, easy to get... Have, like, there's not always apartments available. So people are going to end up going there as an emergency. Be, emergency shelter. That's why it's called that. Like, it's so stupid, man. It really is. Those places are meant for people more than just, like, they think every, like, those those type of people think all, everyone who goes there is a deadbeat or something. Well, guess what? Some of the people might have had a home burnt down or something and lost all their food and everything they owned. So they need a, a friggin' emergency shelter. And for mountain you're charging for sharing air, eight room with eight people. You get in a room with eight people. You can treat people and have to come in by 6.30. So you can treat the people a little bit more better than that, you know. And feed them a good meal. Like, even if you're giving one slice of pizza per people, a person, they should get friggin' sides and all that. Enough to fill your damn stomach. Like, I remember when Sarah was with there. And one of the head people better there before... You give like this a hand, small handful of Mac craft dinner. So they probably like they opened one box of craft dinner and split it with the everyone who stayed there. It wasn't even a bowl; it was a plate, small plate with a handful of craft dinner. That yeah, was it was pathetic when I was there. So yeah. And that's just a doc this video is just a document that happened and to let them know that they're being idiots themselves by even trying to pull that so and the one good person I'm glad is I heard is pretty sure is the head there now because his name is on the card is uh Jeremy I'm glad he is and Jeremy should be running that place because he, he knows how to do it but I understand there's going to be a few couple corrupt people left and all that. And it's bound to happen. But they just got to keep an eye out for it more, you know. That's all they got to do. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys and gals enjoyed the video anyway. If you did, smash like, subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Twitter at john one TikTok at DangerPitcher420. Um, uh, and if you feel like supporting the channel any further, uh, links for PayPal donation link, and, um, also, um, uh, merch and all that, too, in the, in the description. And until next time, it's D'Angelo Pitcher, and I am piecing out.